Don't trust our opinion. Don't trust our opinion podcast. It's your boys back in the building, man. It's your boy OJ. CJ. Here we are once again in the building, man. Right now we got Dave Chappelle talking about some guns, man. Um, he's you not know, supposed to say the G word, man. You're not supposed to say the G word. I said gums. Then I did I say gums. We can't talk about gums now. Yeah. How can the robot depict what I'm saying or what I'm not saying? <laughs> you see, this is the problem with the, the society that we live in. Like it's just so computerized. Like, you ever meet somebody, and then, like, like I know your whole makeup. Mm-hmm. Like, like, you ever see, like, a short girl that's mad, like, just being annoying? Yeah. And she, like, her makeup is, oh, I'm fun size, so I can be annoying. Yeah. Like, that's the makeup. Yeah. Okay. What kind of robotic world we living in where there's so much people that's just like everybody else? Okay. Ain't this so crazy? Like, whenever somebody have a conversation with me, they'd be like, whoa, you surprised me, man. What do you mean by that? Am I supposed to be? Anyway, uh, yeah, we got Dave Chappelle talking about some, some, some choppers. That's, that's good? That's good enough? <laughs> Computer? That's good enough? Jesus. <laughs> I hate guns, personally. I can't stand them. Yeah, but I have several. I don't want them, but I feel like I need them. Don't forget where I live. I live in Ohio. And anyone that knows anything about Ohio knows that even the word Ohio is an old Native American word. It means, literally, a land of poor white people. Really? And I don't know what's going on down here, but in my experience, uh, poor white people love and I mean, they fucking love heroin. <laughs> Press pause. They can't seem to get it. This is the greatest thing about Dave Chappelle. His timing is just impeccable. Like, okay. Huh? No, I said okay. Yeah, like he he's just so good at like um, the timing of a joke and when it's supposed to be said and when it's not supposed to be said. Like he hits it like if he says certain things like a second later or a second mm-hmm earlier yeah it won't be as funny you know what i love about dave spell that i'm gonna piggyback of what you just said yeah you feel me i'm gonna judge up on your back i'm your monkey yeah <laughs> karate <laughs> keep running we love that go ahead go ahead keep riding we love that toast up <laughs> you feel me <laughs> I like his callbacks. Mm, okay. So it was like he would say a joke. Yeah. And then at the end, like 30 minutes later, he would bring the whole shit back around. Like yeah, full circle. Cultural circle, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, damn, this nigga's nice. I love when comedians do that shit. Yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. be like, damn, the niggas is nice, man. The niggas direct this. Yeah, for a fact. I didn't even know what I was looking at at first. I was just driving, like, why are all these white people so sleepy out here? <laughs> <laughs> I had a co-worker like that. It's really bad. <laughs> and matter of fact, I was coming out of a nightclub the other night in Dayton, and I parked my car in the alley, and no one was out there. I didn't have no bodyguards, nothing. I was home. I figured everything was fine. And as soon as I opened my car door, all by myself, suddenly uh, one of these heroin-addicted whites just pops out of the trash can and scared the shit out of me. I screamed, ah! <laughs> And then I realized it was a woman. She was fucked up. She's like, <coughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Relax, okay? <coughs> I'm sick, all right? I need some drugs, man. Please, I'll suck your dick for five dollars, man. I was like, ugh. <laughs> Two. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? His, his delivery is impeccable. Yeah. Like, like man, he is amazing. He's the best I've seen, I think, in my lifetime. In your lifetime? Yeah, I think he's the best. Better than Eddie? Yeah. Better than Bill Burr? Yeah. Better than jo- well, Joe's call is not your lifetime. He's not my lifetime now. Better than no, Louis C.K. is not your. Is Louis C.K. his lifetime? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Shout out to Louis C.K. though. We gotta do some more Louis C.K. Man, yeah. Um, yeah, so, shout out to Dave, man, greatest. 
Put in the chat who you think the greatest is. Of your lifetime. If you're not dead. Obviously, I'm joking. This opioid crisis is a crisis. <laughs> you see it every day. It's as bad as they say. It's ruining lives. It's destroying families. Sadly, you know what it reminds me of? Seeing it? It reminds me of us. These white folks look exactly like us during the crack epidemic. You know, it's really crazy to see. And all that shit they talk about on the news about how divided the nation is, I don't believe it. I feel like nowadays we're getting a real good look at each other. It's why? Because I even have insight into how the white community must have felt watching the black community go through the scourge of crack. Because I don't care either. <laughs> Hang in there, whites. Jeff. Pause. I'm gonna say pause. Yeah. Bro, that nigga thinking that liver king, boy. What the fuck? <laughs> Man, what the fuck? What the hell? Where did that come from? Because I'm imagining that, like, yo, bro, he used to be mad skinny. He did, he did. I think we should even change the title to about, like, he's not even talking about guns anymore. Who? <laughs> yo. Yo, bro. All I know is he had a red hat on. Who? The one who uploaded it. Kanye? <laughs> no, what's so hard about that? <laughs> I don't know, what's so hard about that? Remember when y'all said that to us? But it's okay. There's no grudges. Now you finally got it right. Once it started happening to your kids, you realize it's a health crisis. These people are sick. They are not criminals. They are sick. Be that as it may, I'm armed to the teeth. Oh, there we go. First gun I bought was a 12-gauge shotgun. I didn't want the gun. Remember, though, I moved to a farm, and I was sitting there on the porch, and I see a white dude walking across my property, entitled, like he's supposed to be there. He had a rifle over his shoulder, too. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> I said, what the fuck is this guy doing on my property? I was mad as shit, but I was unarmed. So I ended up just waving to this motherfucker like a bitch. I was just like... First of all, now I want to apologize because um, I already thought he got off track about the guns, which is my fault. Um, it's funny because when you look at certain comedians, mm -hmm. you have to understand who you're looking at, mm -hmm. which I like. I, I'm starting to realize that's like that's like a um, that's a um. It's almost like um. So you ain't know you was looking at Dave Chappelle. No, like you can't look at every stand up the same way. What I'm saying, like for instance, I'm gonna I'm about to get you right now. The same way you prepare for LeBron James, mm -hmm. it's not the same way you gonna prepare for Steph Curry. Let's okay, talk about okay, it. Okay, you know okay, 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 Let's okay. Talk okay. About Both it. great, but you gotta come different ways. You gotta come different. Like oh, I was looking at um, another uh, comedian earlier, uh -huh. and he's great. Uh -huh. You know, Andrew Schultz. We are gonna do an Andrew Schultz review. Be on the lookout for that. And um. He's so different from Dave Chappelle. Yeah. But they're still both great. So I have to approach Dave Chappelle's um, stand up a different way rather yeah. than the same way I would approach yeah. as Andrew Schultz. It's like I know Dave Chappelle, he you know, he liked the he liked the post up. Like he you know, he come in, he comes old, old, old school, fake, but that nigga come with different moves though. Yeah. He come with different moves though. Andrew Schultz is more like an innovative kind of uh, comedian. Yeah. So it's completely different. Yeah. I like how I like how you did that. Yeah, come on now. Come on now. Come on, now. I'm kind of good at this. Come on, now. And as soon as he got far enough away, I ran to my car and sped to Kmart. <laughs> this is in a rural white area. And remember, I was nervous because a guy was on my property. I'm black and I was sweaty. You know what I mean? And I ran to the gun counter, black and sweaty, <laughs> sweating and black. And I looked up at the nigga. I was like, I look like a slave or something. <laughs> I said, I need a gun, immediately, like that. 
just like that. The guy didn't ask no questions. He just grabbed a 12 gauge shotgun, handed it to him. I never even held a gun before. I'm not a dummy. I'm like, well, I need some, I need some bullets too. And the guy reached on the counter, put two box of shells on the counter. He said, all right, buddy, which box do you want? And I didn't know. One box had pictures of some ducks on it. The other box had pictures of some deer. I said, well, what's that box with them ducks? He said, oh, that there's bird shot. And then he goes, just like this, and I exaggerate, he goes, that won't kill a man. <laughs> <laughs> His timing is crazy. <laughs> He said, it'll just pamper him up nicely. I said, what the fuck? Pamper him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it means to pepper a motherfucker up? It means that when the shell explodes, hot BBs will shoot out of the barrel of the gun, not killing a motherfucker, but penetrating their skin and shallow flesh. Boy, that's gotta hurt. Hot BBs? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Dick Cheney shot a motherfucker in the face and he lived? That was bird shot. I said, well, what's that box with the deer on it? He goes, oh, that there's buckshot. That'll put a hole in the goddamn truck if you wanted to. <laughs> but I didn't know that if you're defending your home with a shotgun, the formula dictates that you're supposed to buy both boxes. This was not a formula that I was familiar with. It goes like this. The six shots in 12 gauge shotgun. So when you load the gun, you load it like this. First shot, bird shot. Next shot, buck shot. Bird shot. And then after that, gun's Jamaican. Buck shot, buck shot, buck shot. <laughs> Bullet. Bullet. When's the last time you shot a gun? <clears throat> so, you know, can't talk about it. I ain't in that nigga. Of course. Really? Of course, you know. Um, of course. But he know. Yeah. I actually do know. Um, <laughs> and, you know, um, we don't do this internet thing, man. Yeah. Like, you know, we in the streets for the real ski, you yeah. know. Why um, as hell? Yeah. Free Young Thug. But um, Angry. another classic about Dave Chappelle, man. I I'm, I feel like I'm in the minority. I actually think he's aging like Juan. I think he's actually getting better, to be honest. Yeah. Um, oh, Juan is Asian like him. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> slow down, buddy. But like you know, I. <laughs> but um, I think he's great, man. I I actually think he's getting better by, like, by the time. Like he's so amazing, you know. Um, we actually gotta do some Cat Williams too. He's 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 still good. Um, I'm gonna just throw this out here that doesn't have really anything to do with Dave Chappelle. I'm not excited about this Chris Rock special that's gonna be live on Netflix. I'm excited. You know why? Because we're gonna start doing reviews. Wow, man, you just we're gonna start doing reviews. You let the bat out the bag. Oh man, you want me to edit? You want to edit this out? No. Oh, but we're gonna. Oh, okay. <laughs> but we're gonna start doing reviews. And, um, yeah. So comment what special you want us to do a review on. Our first special is going to be Andrew Schultz and Famous Tour. Yep. In what? what you In Famous Tour. In Famous? In Famous, right? Infamous? <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust our opinion. Clearly, as you can see. We out, bro.